Sometimes we can get a little too comfortable with the status quo, and that leads us to choose to stay with the devil we know. And there's something called the mirror exposure effect that in part explains why we do this. To put it simply, we like things that are familiar and we're a little afraid of what we don't know. So even if we know a person or relationship is toxic and we have nothing holding us there, we may choose to stick around anyway. Depending on the relationship, we may also choose to stick around because there's something called a trauma bond at play. The trauma bond describes what happens when we feel bonded to someone who's been abusive to us. But when we combine these two things, the mere exposure effect and the trauma bond, we get a hazardous compound that will absolutely keep us stuck in toxic relationships for way too long. And I am talking about important relationships like spouses, family, close friends, but I'm also talking about the ones that we might think are benign. You see, every relationship has an impact and maybe it's time we evaluate which ones are ready for the chopping pile. As author Mandy Hale puts it, toxic people will pollute everything around them. Don't hesitate, fumigate. My name is Christina and this channel is dedicated to helping you recognize and deal with the after effects of emotional abuse. And if you're interested in making some positive changes in your life and well-being, consider joining this month's group coaching session. The link is in the description. So let's dive into the five benefits of going no contact with toxic people in your life. Because if you've been sitting on this decision for a while, this may be your sign that it's time. So the first reason to cut ties with that toxic person, that toxic influence in your life is you could maybe chop your anxiety in half, maybe less, maybe more. But when someone is a toxic influence in your life, they're definitely bringing some level of stress. One study found that women in psychologically abusive relationships were much more likely to experience anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and PTSD. And the impact may be the same for men, but this study just happened to be on women. So the next thing you will get out of ending a toxic relationship is that you can finally feel good about yourself. So have you ever had a friend who's always throwing subtle little jabs your way? Or maybe they seem to have a distorted and negative view of who you are. And it really leaves you wondering if everyone sees you that way. Toxic relationships will absolutely destroy your self-esteem. And this is something that Reese Witherspoon even talks about in a 2018 interview with Oprah. I'll link to that in the description so you can watch it for yourself. But she talks about how she didn't have self-esteem when she was in this relationship. And she describes how finally getting the courage to stand up for herself and leave that relationship changed her on a cellular level. Like she became a different, more confident version of herself after that. So another thing you stand to gain by going no contact and leaving a toxic relationship is the freedom to be yourself. So in a toxic relationship, or even when you're just around someone who is toxic, you're never really free to be yourself. And if you make the mistake of showing authenticity, you'll probably be either shot down or made fun of. So you may end up hiding parts of yourself and this is incredibly dangerous because it's like you're disowning these parts of who you are. These are parts of you that make you, you. And things like this can happen gradually and so you don't even realize what's happening until one day you wake up and you just realize that you're not as fulfilled or happy as you once were because you've completely lost touch with who you really are. So here's another thing you stand to gain when you leave a toxic relationship behind, when you walk away and go no contact. You actually stand to become more productive. There have actually been a lot of studies on the effects of toxic leadership on work performance. Spoiler alert, it has a very negative effect. If you've ever had a toxic boss, I know you know what I'm talking about because it probably impacted your ability to show up as your best self at work. But I highly doubt this productivity thing is only limited to the workplace. I'd say as a whole, we'll accomplish a whole lot more when we cut the dead weight. Something to think about. So another thing you stand to gain by going no contact and walking away from toxic relationships is the ability to create space for new and healthier relationships. Let's just face the fact that there's only so much time in the day. And the more time we spend with people who are stealing our happiness, the less time we have for everyone else. 
So when we start making these cuts and setting the boundaries we need to keep other toxic influences from seeping in, we can invite more positive influence in our lives. But listen, I completely understand that some of you will not be able to cut every toxic influence from your life. And some of you just aren't ready to do that, and that's okay. These aren't easy decisions, and I'm not trying to persuade you to do something you're not ready to do. But if you're in this place, you're probably going to wanna take some measures to set boundaries and protect your well being while you're still in these relationships. So if that sounds like where you're at right now, I've got some great tips for you in this video right here.